Hello, in this Bootstrap 4 video, we are going to look at column ordering. Column ordering allows you to move your column X amount of column spaces, I mean your element X amount of column spaces to the left or to the right. You might be thinking, what's the difference between column ordering, what we're going to talk about today, and offsetting a column? For starters, offsetting a column, you can't move it to the left. You can only move it to the right. But ignoring that, if you were to offset a column by or an element, should I say, sorry, an element, uh, if you were to offset an ele element by two column spaces, those two column spaces, they're basically, you can essentially think of them as used or no longer usable anymore. Plus also, any other elements to the right of that element that you've moved, they also moved. Whereas column ordering, if I were to move an element to the right, it will just overlap it or go underneath it depending on the Z index applied to each of the elements, but it won't actually affect the other elements. So that's great. So we're gonna just show you how to do that. And if let's open up the web browser, I've got this little website and at the moment I've got it on the small screen size. So what I'm gonna do is do col dash. Now you put the screen size that you wanna affect with the ordering, you put SM, so for small, for us, dash, push, and again, push will move it to the right, pull will move it to the left. I'm gonna push it six columns to the right. Save this now, go back to the web browser and refresh. You might think it's disappeared. It's not disappeared, it's just underneath the green element. And because this was added afterwards, it has a higher priority in terms of Z index. But I'm also gonna do col dash SM dash pull dash six. So this is gonna pull it six columns to the left. Save that before I refresh it. And like I said before, it doesn't affect the other elements. So even though the red element was pushed to the right, the green element was not moved. So if I refresh, they've essentially swapped. But you don't need to do, because at the moment we've done the push and the pull the same as the size, but you could pull it by only, let's say, four. Refresh, and there you go. The red one was pushed six to the right, but the green one was only pulled four to the left. And by doing that, it's still overlapping some of the red element. Now I want to show you what happens if I resize. If I resize down, the column ordering doesn't take effect. And like anything in Bootstrap, it bubbles up, not down. So if I were to resize to small screen size, medium, large, and extra large, it's still affecting it simply because we have S a small push and a small pull, therefore it's going to apply to medium, large and extra large screens. So to get around that, you just need to do col dash md dash push dash zero. So this is essentially gonna eliminate the push. This we're gonna do col dash md dash pull dash zero. So this will eliminate the pull. And like I said, it will bubble up to the large and extra large. So we only need to do it for medium. If we go back, refresh, as you can see, on the larger screen size, it still looks great. Then on the small screen size, it's got the column ordering that we applied to it. And on the smallest screen size, extra small, it doesn't have anything. And we got a column width of 12, 12, and 12. So that's it for column ordering within Bootstrap. If you have any questions, anything whatsoever, feel free to post them on our education platform, sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash questions.php. There'll be a link in the description to that. Plus there'll be another link in the description to the source code from this video. So check that out as well. Please rate, comment and subscribe as it does really help keep the content free. Plus it helps us provide more content to you on a regular basis, which I think we all want. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.